time. Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And I'm the Skip. And welcome to Overwatch Central Quick Start Guides. Less than five minute guides going over hero strengths and weaknesses, as well as when to play them and what heroes they counter well. Today we are going over Bastion. Bastion is a defense hero with one of the highest damage outputs in Overwatch. You can have two different configurations when playing Bastion. The first one is Configuration Recon, which allows Bastion to move around and use a submachine gun that deals medium damage. The second configuration is Sentry, which puts Bastion in an immobile state. It allows you to look around in a 360 on the spot and enables Bastion's Gatling gun that deals heavy damage. These modes can be switched between at the press of a button. The last ability that Bastion has is Self Repair, which heals Bastion rapidly but can be interrupted if Bastion takes any damage. Finally, the ultimate ability is called Configuration Tank, when in this mode Bastion can shoot explosive projectiles that deal heavy damage. After a certain amount of time, Bastion is put back into Configuration Recon. So Bastion's strengths lie with his damage output which is enough to tear through practically anything. Reinhardt shields don't stand the chance against Bastion in sentry mode and any hero with 200 HP or less that is out in the open will die very quickly if Bastion can set up in a good spot. If enemies are closing up on Bastion, Configuration Tank, his ultimate, can come in handy to finish off some of the enemy heroes and counter their push. Even in recon mode, you can deal a fairly high amount of damage at close range. Just aim for those headshots and your weapon spread should not let you down. Configuration Sentry puts you in an immobile state which makes you extremely vulnerable. Long range damage sources are Bastion's number one nemesis as the Gatling gun spread is too wide to kill off any of those heroes quickly. Even sometimes on close range, especially if jumped, Bastion can be at a disadvantage due to not having an escape ability. And of course having to get out of his sentry mode to run away. Bastion also takes double damage on his core located in his back when in sentry mode. So what heroes should you be attacking as Bastion? Well there aren't really any heroes in particular that Bastion should be aiming to kill. You want to aim to provide a lot of damage to your team to control choke points. Make sure that you're turned through any barrier shields such as Reinhardt or Winston's, but other than that you should really be aiming to kill anyone that you can get in your line of sight, and make sure that they're eliminated quickly. Unfortunately, Bastion is a bit of a hit and miss. There are many counters to Bastion, so we're just going to go through all of them very quickly. Genji for the long range shurikens and deflect, a highly effective counter. Tracer, pulse bomb, insta kills and Tracer can easily force Bastion to turn around. Symmetra, the old fire orbs forces Bastion to get out of sentry mode and move around and also deal a lot of damage if they hit. Widowmaker, she can peek around the corner and very easily get a few charged up shots in on Bastion without risking taking too much damage. Hanzo, same reason as Widowmaker pretty much, snipers are just very hard to deal with for Bastion. Roadhog, the chain hook can hook Bastion out of sentry mode and Roadhog's HP gives him enough time to throw out a hook. Junkrat, the indirect high damage grenades can be bounced on and over walls to hit Bastion without even being in the line of sight. Farah, similar to Junkrat, just three decently placed rockets should kill Bastion very quickly. Farah can't fire them indirectly at Bastion but can peek around corners at long range. So when should he be played as Bastion? Well it comes as no surprise but Bastion is a lot better on defense than he is on attack. And mostly a mobile hero cannot be as good as a high mobility one when it comes to playing offensively. This doesn't mean that Bastion is never picked on offense, but I would advise against playing Bastion on attack regularly. If you are attacking though, make sure that you're gradually moving up the map and towards the enemy and don't stay too far back. Also jumping on the payload and going into sentry mode is a good move as it takes a lot of coordination to take him off of it. Since you're immobile as Bastion most of the time, positioning is incredibly important. Have a look around the map in a private game and make yourself familiar with them so you know where to go if you are forced to move from the first spot you set up in. The last thing you want to do is to go into Configuration Recon and not know where to go and set up next. Communication is also very important for Bastion to be effective. If you're playing Bastion and you don't know that a Reaper is coming around the back then there is very little you can do about it. Callouts are key, both from you and your team, so you always know who is around the choke point and who is on the flanks. Make sure to also try and synergize with allied supports and tanks so you're well protected the majority of the time. Our final tip has to be to pick Bastion as a surprise. In lower skill games with players that are new to the game, Bastion can be seen as overpowered since you can't just run at and kill Bastion without some sort of counter or coordination. But even in higher skill games he can be effective and force the enemy team to communicate a change in their lineup. It's a bit of a 50-50 but we've seen it work especially on control maps. And that's it for this time, thank you very much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more Overwatch content, we have two of these hero guides going out a week until launch, so be sure not to miss any of those, and until next time take care, and we'll see you then.